Mr. Sharma, uh, you know, the question is plausible. Adiranjan Chaudhary says, it's a slip of tongue. Hindi is not my mother tongue, it's Bangla. Our own Prime Minister has made so many mistakes. You know, we haven't gone after him. A, why go after me? And more so, why go after Ms. Gandhi? Can I, if I get on your free time, I'd be very grateful for that. But thank you so much for having me on the show. <clears throat> Couple of points. Firstly, Mr. Adiranjan Chaudhary ji did not make this mistake as a slip of the tongue. It is a deliberate mistake. He said Rashtrapati as the word first. Please see the original audio and see the channel which taped it. Right? And after that, after being reminded of the word Rashtrapatini, which he used, he should have corrected himself. He did not. And he didn't use it once, he used it twice. And just before, in the same conversation, he used the word Rashtrapati. So it definitely wasn't a slip of the tongue. And he's known to be insulting. And this is not the first incident. You've seen it repeatedly in 2019. You've seen it repeatedly in 2020. You've seen it repeatedly in 2021 also. He called Mrs. Sitaraman, if you remember the speech, Nirbal. If you remember on Kashmir, he turned around and said, it's an international issue, it's not a bilateral issue. So he has been constantly making this. He's even called, compared the Ganga to a nun. That's also one of his speeches. He's apologized to that. So I'm not going to rake up most of these issues, but he constantly does it. And who has he been sanctioned by to do this? This is an issue Congress also always had, and the Congress president probably has this and has encouraged him to constantly go, go after and do this. It's a very easy way to claim it's not my mother tongue. If it's not your mother tongue, how come you are using the word Rashtra? Secondly, if why is he used constantly for this kind of purpose if you've appointed him as a leader of the Congress party in the Lok Sabha? If he's done this before, remove him. Get somebody else to come and say. So if Mrs. Gandhi is allowing to, these things to constantly happen, we are within our rights to go and say this. And now coming back to that similar incident. One, yes, I agree, Mrs. Gandhi probably is never used on parliamentary language. I have rarely ever heard her speak in the parliament in the first place. So anyway, let's get to that. People. You walked up to the treasury benches after the Lok Sabha had been adjourned. Normally, we do have to discuss anything, and my esteemed colleague, who's been a member of parliament, a panelist here, would agree that we normally do tend to meet in the central hall, and if you had an issue to be raised, you walked up to the seat which is allotted to Mrs. Smriti Irani. So you walked up to that seat. What was the point? There was really no need for you to walk up to that particular seat and Try and talk to Ramadeviji. Ramadeviji did not give that speech. The Honorable Minister did. And the Honorable Minister very kindly turned around and said, Madam, if you have anything, ask me. So instead of being so aggressive, you could have asked Smriti Rani or you could have gone to Smriti Raniji's office. She has an office there. You could have met her in the central hall. Smriti Rani sits in the central hall. A lot of times we all meet her constantly there. So you could have gone and done this. So why is Adhiranjan ji used constantly by the Congress to do this? He has insulted the Prime Minister, he's done it mm -hmm. with Amit Shah, he's done it with the Honorable Governor, the then Governor of Kashmir. So this has been a constant phase with him. I mean, every time he picks up, we actually all listen very carefully because we know he's going to do something else. He right. is used as a loose cannon by the Congress. And I don't think so. They like the fact that Mrs. Zoropadi Murmuji is the Honorable President of India. And she's not only the Honorable President, the highest constitutional post in this country, she's also our Commander in Chief. The least we should do is show respect to the Commander in Chief. You know, Mr. Sharma, you've raised some pertinent points. And I want to bring in uh, Dr. Kumar, but I'd ask you, you know, a counter question to what you said. You said, you know, Mr. Ms. Irani has an office in Parliament. Um, it could have happened the other way as well. Because the statement wasn't made by Ms. Gandhi, it was made by Adhiranjan Chaudhary. If Ms. Irani had an issue that uh, Ms. Gandhi was behind it, you know, issue. it could have been instead of mounting an attack, a verbal assault in Parliament, she could have done the same, speak to Ms. Gandhi on the sidelines. 
what it up in parliament so the nation would know what was being done by the congress so okay. the apology to be given <clears throat> adiranjan choudhury could have done it right there and then he doesn't need to apologize to the bjp he could have apologized to the president of india in parliament and said look i made this mistake let's get it over with let the parliament right. function and we've we gone back to the functioning of the parliament okay.